welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway on the hill here today, Griffin Canning. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here's a Mets lineup now. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. And now the Mets DH, J.D. Martinez. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Pete Alonzo up next for the Mets. To the left side, but it is well foul. Three two on the way. And that's ball four. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Pete Alonso. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Welcome back and towing the slab, Jose Quintana. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This one high in the air to left center. Nimmo has it sized up. And makes the grab. And there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an Batting excellent hurt. pace. The designated Logan O'Hoppy, the next to hit for the Angels. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Check swing, no appeal, and a count two and one. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Not even close there. Ball three. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Foul. Will
we'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Got him swinging. And the Angels are gone in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark. Top of the second. And here is Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. The next offering misses. Two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Ball Next three. offering upstairs. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Hey. That one's in there, and the count's full. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Drill to center. That's way back, and you can and forget it! Home run! He flexes his power with that swing, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Now it's Mark Vientos. That's oh. off the mark. Two and two. It's a good take. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings through him for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with and there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Bottom of the inning. Here's Kevin Pillar. Next pitch misses. And the count is 3-1. and One strike. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nimmo puts it away, and there's one down. Here's the left Batting fielder, pitch. Taylor Ward. The left fielder. The wind of the pitch. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Really good, hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Two outs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Angels held in check. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. New inning getting started. And stepping in for New York, Harrison Bader. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Now batting, shortstop, Francisco. One down, base is empty. And he flips a breaking ball in there one ball. or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Popped up. And there are two outs. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Next pitch Whoa. is inside. And it's two and one. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Ward drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Mets. But they're on top, 1-0. Back here at Angel Stadium, set for the bottom of the third. So in now for the Angels, Charles LeBlanc. LeBlanc. The 1-1. That's a little bit low. And the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Nemo going back on it. Back some more. And that one is going to go. That'll fire up the dugout. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. Working with this kind of velocity is so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Next two offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. High fly ball, right field. Winker should have it. He's got it, and there's one down. Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. Next one misses, and the count is even, two and two. In the air, right field, McNeil in pursuit. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. 
two away now. Yeah, that's a tough no, play that. for the infielder ranging no, back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. They say you win. Goes down looking. Angels get one with a solo homer. All even at one apiece. You're dialed into the show. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now JD Martinez. JD. One cool Martinez. note on JD Martinez, he is the most recent player to hit four homers in a game. Only 18 guys have done it in big ball. league history. And a one two. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's Jesse Winker. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back in Anaheim, ready to go. Bottom four. And the batter will be the shortstop. Number nine. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. A one two. And down on strikes. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. Struck out swinging his first time. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Kevin Pillar, the next to hit for the Angels. Glide out his first time. That misses. Two balls and a strike. And a pitch. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Bohapi around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first. It's 2-1. Two, two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Now at the plate, Taylor Ward. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That hits the dirt, and it's two and one. At the belt and fires. That's in there, and now two and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, no, so do. credit the, the pitcher for having him out in front of that yeah. pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Yeah. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that one sliced foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. 
Pilar at second with two down. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Bounce to the right side. McNeil over to first. And that will end the inning. Angels get one on this double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. The 1-1 is fouled off. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering misses down and away. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't yeah. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Yeah. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a 1-1. One -one. That one missed. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Roansi Contreras preparing to come on if needed. Quijada, the lefty, warming up as well. Line drive, that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. And now Bader up to the plate. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Nice stop. Good feed, that's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Here's Francisco Lindor. Right-hander kicks, deals. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. We are tied 2-2. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Charles LeBlanc. Here's a 1-1. And another ball. You know, these Angels, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And a big swing and a miss. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Next pitch, oh, not man. close, up high. The punch out there, one gone here. Well, he froze him with a great fastball yeah, right on the corner. Good. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Out to short. Zips it across. And that quickly, two away. Oh, good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's the second baseman, number 38. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. Oh, Next pitch off the play. And that's ball two. High fly ball out to center field. Bader sizing it up. Puts the squeeze on it. And that ends the inning. Angels go down 1 2 3. Score remains 2 2. Mike Bauman on the pitch here. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Your attention, please. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets.
the 1-1. One -one. Line drive. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. One up, one down. Here's J.D. Martinez. Swings and misses. One and two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. And now it's even up. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Roansi Contreras getting loose out there. And the righty deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. The next pitch misses, and now three and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off. In the air, left side. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Go ahead, run on base. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Two two down. On the ground. Can't glove it cleanly. Looked to me like he kind of let the ball play him instead of playing the ball, and it just ate him off. The hands get stiff and even the best infielders make these kinds of mistakes. You just have to learn from it and move on. So up next for New York, Jesse Winker. That misses the zone. Ball two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Strike two. And now the count filled up three and two. Mark Vientos waiting to hit for the Mets. One out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss. And I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Stepping in, Mark Vientos. Next offering is in for a strike. And the right hander deals. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Martinez, the lead runner out at second. Alonso on at first with two down. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One hit, one error in the inning. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, number 18. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Swings and misses. One ball. That's strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Phil Maton, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Stanek, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The one-two. And that misses off the outside edge. He goes down looking. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Number nine, the next to hit. Up the middle. Oh, what a stop. Over to first. And it's in time. Wow, what a play on both ends for the out. Here comes a skipper out of the duck. Alex Young takes over on the mound. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Logan Ohapi. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even.
And now the lefty. Down. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Offense held in check there. We're through. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. Hey! Well, these Mets, they're being honest with themselves, struggling to make contact in this one. The strikeout has been a big issue, but at least they're going down swinging. Got to get the ball in play, though. It's time to change up the approach to focus on making simple contact and just go from there. 1-2 now. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Jeff McNeil stands in. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. McNeil. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is out of here. He blasts one out to right. And that gives him a lead. It's 3-2. He got on plane with that high fastball. And look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. At the play, Harrison Bader. And there's a the ball. And that's outside. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Struck him out looking. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Francisco Lindor. The 2 2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. And here it comes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's made back in Anaheim, set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Kevin Pillar. Next offering is down low. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. For a strike, now it's three and two. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there and out of here. He'll touch them all, and we are tied. It's 3-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball up the middle. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Back-to-back -back base hits. Got a change up and a pretty good one, too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. Here's Joe Adele. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and deals. Hard liner. He's got it. And there's one away. 
Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Next offering upstairs. One away, tie game. Go-ahead run stands at first. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Now all leave it up. And now it's filled up. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. 3 2 now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Three, two. On the ground, could be two. Tags the runner for one, and that's two. Angels get one with a solo homer. We're tied now with three apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready to begin the eighth, and stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. And a count one and two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Here's a 2-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Here's the 2-2. That one 95 to finish him off. Down in order go the Mets. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Back here at Angel Stadium. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Matt Theis. Misses off the play. And that's ball two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Number 38 in the on-deck circle. In the air, center field. Bader brings it in. One away. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Brandon Drury. One out. The base is empty for him. The Mets with a new arm on the mound. Bill Maytag. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Two and one now. That's through there for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. In the air out towards right center. Bader should have it. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Ninth inning coming up. All tied up at three apiece. Staying in the game on defense, Brandon Drury. He entered the game. Now playing second base. The pinch hit, and now man second base. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen, Roansi Contreras. That's in there. And it's one and two. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jose Quijada up and throwing. He 
In the dirt. Nice. Collects, fires to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now the third baseman, Mark Vientos. Right side, Drury. Tosses to first, two away. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Almost got him to commit, but he held back. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Adele puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. 2-3-4 set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. We head to the bottom of the ninth. There's the shortstop at the play. Number nine. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So now here's the DH, Logan Ohapi. The 2 1. Pulls that one foul. And now two and two. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Stanek, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Kevin Pillar, the next to hit for the Angels. And it's even up. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Ground ball left side could be two. Lindor to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam to extra innings and stepping in for New York Jeff McNeil and a swing and a miss action in the Angels bullpen Hunter Strickland the hard throwing righty is up and loosening Quijada the left hander also throwing Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. I gotta think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's a 2-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch and he'll see another. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. To the right side. And that one handled. And Bader is set down. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Two on. All three. Brandon Nimmo up next for the Mets. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. Right-handed reliever. 
That misses off the outside edge. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And a 2-1 on the way. Way high. J.D. Martinez waiting to hit for the Mets. All tied up. And here in extra innings. Ground ball right side. And it goes just foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. Fly ball down the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is the third out of the inning. Two left for the Mets. Score remains tied at three. Back here at extras and a new pitcher on the mound. So digging in, Taylor Ward. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is... Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Danny Young, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. Diaz getting loose as well. Ground ball right side and foul ball. The winning run on second base. And now the count is even. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two two now. That to right. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third. Oh, the throw is over his head. And he'll move up to third on the throwing error. Charles LeBlanc, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered in this game. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Angels walk it off in extra innings. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. These guys are celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. 4-3, our final score. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. First for the victorious Angels, four runs on six hits, one error. They left three men on base. For the Mets, three runs, four hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.